Ankylosing spondylitis, outer fibers of the annulus fibrosus of the intervertebral discs are ossified, which causes formation of marginal syndesmophyte between the adjoining vertebral bodies. And it results in radi radiographic appearance, which is a thin curved radiopex spicules that completely bridge adjoining vertebral bodies. Ultimately, squaring of the anterior vertebral body margins with associated reactive sclerosis of the vertebral body margins occur, which is called shiny corner sign. And together, all this give rise to the impression of a like a, a bamboo spine. So you can uh, see that the, the, the comparison with the bamboo spine of this spine. In ankylosing uh, spondylitis, different uh, varieties of sacroalitis may be present. So we divide radiologically into four grades. Grade one is very, uh, I mean, subtle changes like suspicious changes, but not definitive. Grade two, when there is small localized areas of erosion or sclerosis, but the joint space is intact and normal yet. If there is definite changes of erosion, sclerosis, and some narrowing or partial fusion, it is grade three. And when it is complete fusion, that is grade four sacroiliitis. Now, station five. So look at the strict X ray chest peer view and answer the following questions what are the radi radiological findings in the film number two what is the most likely radiological diagnosis in this case and mention two further investigations to reach a diagnosis so the radiological findings in the film are that a dense opacity or wedge-shaped opacity or triangular opacity is seen behind the cardiac shadow with a sharp left margin <coughs> and cardiac shadow shadow is shifted to the left and as well the trachea also shifted to the left or you can say medicinal shifting of to the left so this is an extra this is an extra of collapse of left lower lobe you can see that uh, total four marks is for this uh, answer of this question so and then uh, there are some uh, breakdowns here for collapse two if you mention left then one and for lower lobe one and the further investigations that can be done here, most importantly, bronchoscopy and CT scan or X-ray chest lateral view can also be done. So, what happens when left lower lobe collapses? Collapse happens. Trachea is divided to left, and classic appearance of a double left heart border or a sail sign. You can see the area which is marked in orange. The second heart border is due to the dense edge of the collapsed left lower lobe which ultimately gives rise to a triangle or cell shape. You should uh, note here that the left hemidiaphragm cannot be followed all the way to the spine because the left lower lobe sits directly on the top of the diaphragm and as it no longer contains air, it is of the same soft tissue density as the diaphragm and therefore blends into it. So this is a classical example of left lower lobe collapse. Now let's move to station 6. Study the barium enema X-ray and answer the following questions. What are the radiological findings? What is the most likely diagnosis? How this patient may present? What further investigation we would like to do to confirm the diagnosis and write for management options for this patient? If we look at this barium enema X-ray, we can find out that there is irregular filling defect in ascending column and there is also shouldering effect. So the most likely diagnosis is colonic neoplasm or you can say carcinoma colon. So the patient may present with anemia, weight loss, abdominal mass or GI symptoms like altered bowel habit or abdominal pain or bleeding. You can write any three of them. So uh, to confirm the diagnosis, we can do colonoscopy with biopsy and histopathology. And four management options, right hemicolectomy or surgery. I mean, if you write simply surgery, you will get 0.5, but you, if you write specifically right hemicolectomy, you will get the full MERS 1.5. And other management options are chemotherapy, regular follow up, family screening, and nutritional support or general supported measures. So, barium meal extras can be of three types barium swallow extra, which is mainly done for the upper GI, especially stomach and duodenum, barium follow through which is done to visualize the small intestine and the barium enema, which is mainly due to uh, visualize the large intestine. These are some examples of barium enema of carcinoma colon. So in the first picture, we can see also there is the irregular filling defect also in the middle uh, image and also in the third image, 
there is also uh, some irregular filling defect in the descending column. So there is a term called apple course sign. Why it is called so? Because the short segment irregular circumferential structure of the large bowel that has abrupt shouldered margins resemble an apple core. You can compare these pictures, it is very similar to this apple core. That is, that's why it is called apple core sign. And it is almost always due to a stenosing annular colon carcinoma. Let's move to station 7. A 16 year old boy presented with recurrent upper abdominal pain for last one year. Study the image and answer the following questions. Identify the most remarkable radiological signs of diagnostic importance. Mention three other presenting features you can expect. Mention three other important investigations to establish the diagnosis and six options for pain management for this patient. The radiological signs of diagnostic importance are multiple radio opaque shadows along the line of pancreas or you can specify like at the level of lumbar 1 and lumbar 2 vertebra or you can write pancreatic calcifications are present. The other presenting features may be malabsorption or steatorrhea, diabetes mellitus, weight loss and vomiting. The uh, investigations that can be done ultrasonography or CT abdomen or MRI abdomen or ERCP or MRCP. You can do pancreatic function test or fecal fat or fecal elastase, fecal chymotrypsin, secretin stimulation test or polycystokinin stimulation test or trypsinogen. Blood sugar estimation, endoscopic ultrasound and serum lipase or MLS or 24 hour urinary MLS. Now you can just notice that the I mean investigations that are similar are grouped together. So if you write ultrasonogram and CT abdomen, we'll just get marked for only one. Regarding pain management, we have options like NSAID, opioids, tricyclic antidepressants or SSRIs or gabapentin. We can also give pancreatic enzyme supplements, endoscopic removal of stones, total pancreatectomy or lateral pancreatogenostomy can be done, and celiac plexus neurolysis. This is an, another example of pancreatic stone. You can see that the almost the whole pancreas is uh, full of stones. You can see in uh, the pancreatic calcification in relation to the kidneys. And also another example. Now station 8, another chest x-ray. A 30 year old man has presented with high grade fever and pain in right chest for one week. Study his chest x-ray and answer the following questions. List two important positive findings in the x-ray. What is the likely diagnosis? Mention two first line investigations to reach the diagnosis. Mention one investigative investigation for specific diagnosis and list four complications that the patient can develop. So here air fluid level on the right dome of diaphragm is present and there is elevation of the right dome of diaphragm and it is very suggestive of liver abscess or you can say subdiaphragmatic abscess. Two first light investigations to reach the diagnosis should be ultrasonogram of hepatobiliary system and CBC with ESR. So look at the question that we have mentioned here that the first line investigations. So it should be ultrasonogram and CBC which can be easily done and easily available. So CT scan is not, uh, I mean, accepted as an answer here. Question number four, mention one invasive, invasive investigation for specific diagnosis. We can do ultrasonogram or CT guided aspiration and uh, aspirate or pass sending for culture sensitivity and trophocyte of entamoeba histolytica. Four complications that the patient can develop. The patient can develop peritoneal rupture, which may cause peritonitis, pleural rupture causing pleural effusion or empyema or, uh, or uh, pleural and pleural effusion, pericardial rupture causing pericardial effusion or septicemia. Now look at these two different axes where there is also subdiaphragmatic diaphragmatic gas shape is present. 